Hey, this is Jonathan Boshoff, and today I've got a cool method that will show you how to use search engine results pages to generate titles and descriptions with ChatGPT. The problem with ChatGPT currently is it doesn't know exactly how to create title tags and meta descriptions right off the bat. Uh, the the reason is because it has limitations, like it only dates back to 2021, and it only knows SEO best practices from wherever it scraped that data from. Um, so it just it just doesn't know what to do. And here's an example where I asked it to generate title tags and meta description ideas for the search term sales enablement software. Um, you can see that a lot of them are way too long. They're not optimized well, they're not using the right keywords, so there's no chance that ChatGPT can do a good job at this right off the bat. Even if you provided better prompts, it would still struggle because what ChatGPT really needs is some data to help it out. And that's what we're going to give it. So if you look at the search results page for sales enablement software, you can see that it's way different from what ChatGPT generated. Um, I can see that they're using 2023 in the titles a lot. They're using sales enablement software in the meta, meta description. Um, and a couple other things here and there. So there's lots of insights on the first page of search results. It's practically a goldmine for title and meta description ideas. Uh, so we just need a way to copy this and get it into ChatGPT. And... We don't want to spend a lot of time doing that, so I'm going to use a Chrome extension that does that for me. This Chrome extension, uh, the SERP Snippet Extractor by getindex.io, I'll provide a link to this. Um, it's great. It allows you to copy all of the organic search results from a SERP in one click. Uh, so it's perfect for what we need to do. So basically, I already have this plugin set up. Uh, so once you have it installed, all you need to do is click on this little icon here, and it won't show you anything, but it'll copy your search results into your clipboard, and then you can just paste it onto your spreadsheet here. Then what you want to do is take the domain column and just move that over there. We're going to use these three columns for our prompt here. The next step is you'll need a prompt. So you can just copy this one from my blog. Uh, I'll paste the link in the description. Uh, but you can just copy this prompt word for word. And then you want to paste that into your chat GPT prompting area. Uh, but don't hit enter yet. We still have to provide the data. So then you take the title description and domain, copy that. And I'm going to add it to the bottom of my prompt here. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to hold shift and press enter to create a new line and then just paste that in there. Uh, and then you hit enter and it'll get to work generating title tag ideas, meta description ideas. Um, it'll count the most common used keywords and it'll provide insights on the search intent and the funnel stage and additional learnings from the search results. If it comes out kind of weird looking like it did here, you can just hit regenerate and give it another chance to reformat it so you can see it's doing a, a better job here. Uh, so it doesn't always get a perfect output every time, um, but when you hit regenerate, it usually fixes the problem. Uh, so I can see here, it's, it's showing that sales enablement was used five times in titles, software was used five times, things like that. Um, and it also provides insights on the search intent and the funnel stage. So it's pretty cool and it allows you to generate uh, optimized titles and descriptions based on the data that is in the search results. Um, so you can see it's given me three ideas here uh, for title tags, three ideas for meta descriptions, and they're pretty optimized right off the bat, so you could mix and match or maybe customize them a little. Uh, and that's all there is to it. Uh, a couple other things you could try is messing with this prompt that I provided. Um, so it's a pretty big prompt, and uh, you could try changing it around. 
Or you could even try including more columns. So this extension provides tons of, of data on search results. Um, so you can mess around with it. Um, there's one more thing that I didn't mention, which is actually changing your location based on where you're searching from. Like you can see, I search from Edmonton. Um, you're going to want to change your location based on wherever you're trying to rank. So if you're trying to rank in the United States, you'd want to to search from the United States. Uh, to do that, I use a tool called I Search From um, in my blog post here. I Search From, so you can customize your your location and your country and stuff like that. Um, highly recommend it. Uh, but yeah, that's all there is to it. So give it a try and let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks.